And hello again, everybody. Nice to see you. This is episode 14 of Project 2 of the Joy of Functional Game Dev. And the GitHub uh, release for the start of it is v0.13, uh, start of episode 13, or end of episode 13, start of episode 14. And this is being recorded a short five minutes after the last episode. There was So there's been no work done in the meantime. Let's move on. All right, so we got a notion. We got a boat. We have a, we have a bigger, we have a bigger, um, bigger area than we had. And we were able to explore it. We can, we can wander off of it. And so what we need, now it's, it's, I can sail. And I just need some place to sail to. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be nice? So let's give ourselves something to sail, but also let's keep ourselves from um, let's improve a couple of things here. Because for one thing, what I don't want is um Because this is silly. This is the this rendering map of having to do this two-dimensional little for each thing. So what I want to do is I want to do this. I want to say let map cells map view cells equals and oddly enough, let's do this. So. So zero to that. I'm going to do a sequence dot map fun e e times one cell. So now map view cells is a sequence of int cells. Actually, more than that. And the interior of this. I don't need to do it this way. All right. I'm going to so go ahead and stop map on the column. This is a row. I need to construct a column equals column times one cell and row equals row times one cell so at this point what have I got I've got a sequence of sequence of uh, cell collections or cell locations. And now I want to sequence start reduce. And can I do that with a seek dot append? I can. So now it should be one big sequence. Cell locations and really I want a set. Set of seek. So all my map view cells are in a set. Because all I really care about is here's my here is this and I'm thinking one of the other things I want though is my so I know that's all of all the places of Oh, but I also want um, map view x. So map view x plus column times that. Map view y plus row. So now my map view cells are all of the places where I will um, where where I want to render into my map view. So that's, I got my destinations. And then, um, but I think what I want to do here, 
Want to also put because here here's the the map location is um, whatever my column number is minus my map view width. So let's do this. This might seem a little odd at the moment, so just bear with me. We're gonna comma and put another. Other thing here. We're gonna do column times one and row times one. We're gonna subtract minus map view width two and minus map view height over two. And we do a sequence reduce, and then we're gonna do a map of sequence. So now my map cell views are a map between cell locations on the screen and a, an offset based on my player location. So now I don't even So, okay. I'm going to try this again. We're going to we're going to fix it up here. So we're going to have map view cells. Map dot. It's really just an iter. Nope, it's not an iter. Map dot fold. Map dot fold, isn't it? Map dot fold. We're going to have a fun of render grid. Um, uh, view, what do we call it? Render location? Render location. Location. And a map delta is going to give me render grid. And we're going to start with render grid. See what that really. Oh, where do we start with? Uh, MP map. And we're fitting to destroy this other thing. I'm going to leave it for the moment. Alright. So, alright. The render grid. And really. If I do this here, because this is really what did the work before and I get rid of the other stuff and I translate it so the map look I don't need the map location because well I do need the map location because I need the map delta what I really just need is map delta column plus map delta column and that's going to be plus map delta row the render location is the render location we got a render grid and I don't need that well that's much better so now I don't I don't have to I don't have a nested fold I just have one fold and that's so much better <laughs> if only it works let's see this could be fun this could be completely disastrous you don't know and go there we go and okay well if it gonna blow up it would have so much better and now we have a really cool uh, map of this view comes from this Delta to the to the focus location and so you can have any old focus location that you like and, and grab that so that's that's good that's good good I like it then really we could have 
Didn't even need to do a map full. We could have done a map. Map. Nah, we're gonna we're gonna not mess with it right now because it's it's fine and it works. All right. Next, we need something interesting for it to do. What interesting? What what did we say on our Trello board that we wanted to do? We wanted oceans and fishing and searching for a home and storms and sea monsters. Okay. So, let's generate. Actually, one other thing I want to see is what the initial map. Okay. Here's a here's a And then here's another. Here's our create create world. Um our create world function. And it's really quite quite silly. It's very we're doing another one of these, and so I think what I want... Do I want to do the same thing there that I'm doing? That I'm doing there? Probably. But in which case, then, what am I... So if I do this, so my map view cells are that sequence, uh, and this is really a make... make cells of reticular width and height and an offset. All right, let's take this. Let's take this and um, is, it's a call to create world. So this is create world. Somewhere here in game state, I've got let create world rod or equals you, and we need a random. Okay, it has to random. So system system. Because a random is necessary here, and we'll, we don't have, so we'll just pass random in. And we should be able to build, and that should be happy and fine. Alright. So that's our initial map. So all it does is generate a map. And it should not make an initial map. It should make the whole play state. So create. No, I suppose that's fine. All right. Having one of those weird times when I'm hearing weird noises upstairs. Yet there's no one up there to make them. So I'm. I think I'm making them myself and just not really realizing. Anyway, all right, creating the map. Um, with a random number generator, and let's let's take a look at it because it's a mess. So here's a map column map sequence fold map that whatever do this junk. Um, let's. This is a complicated fold. This is a stupid fold. So create world is sequence so fold create column, which creates row, which creates these other things. And actually, really, um, I want terrain to start out with as just deep water. I know. And why do I want to do that? So terrain equals just deep water. This starts me out. So I 
held. Yeah, I hate it. What did, I, what did I do over here? What what? So it's a secrets up map, and then that is a secrets up map, and then I can reduce. Why don't I just do that? I can do this thing, and then I can just have a sequence of locations. This would make me a whole lot happier. I mean, yeah, the fold is cool, but map comes and map rows. Comes, map rows. And I don't need map view, so I just need the row. I don't need to put the cut, I don't need that. I just need don't know how many there's. What don't you like? So here's that. Oh, turn that function. There's that. Here's that. So at this point, what are we saying? It's a three unit, but it's a sequence of cell locations, and that's cool. So now we got a sequence of cell locations. Seek dot um, now it's a seek.fold, because we have a fun, we got fun, it is a map, fun map, and a cell location. Map, and we start with map.empty. So at the moment it says that, but it's going to be as that. Just ignore. Okay, I don't want to. So I have. Map dot do this thing here. Then set the object. So now should be able to set this should so it's column. It's just cell location. Oh, this is nice. Alright, this is wonderfully more clean. And yeah, by by this it's like it's all map locations. X. What map locations? Well, why would I do this more than once? So I have all my map locations. So all my map locations. Here's my map. Here's a, okay. Me go, and then it will create create an object. So now it should be nothing but deep water. Yes. So I have no idea where I am. All right. Now, similarly, I need to create I need to create islands. And my islands, I have an unknown number of islands. I want to have them. Okay, so we're going well, to we're gonna call them to a function that says generate islands. Currently, I got my map. Um, nope. Be sure to pass in random. So, let. Let generate islands. There's a random. And there is a map that equals map. Yeah, 
and type inference is good, but again, we don't trust it. And a, it's going to be a map that, so I can take, do that and take out the empty. So map's going to be that. It's going to return map. Generate islands for the map in there, and we're going to have to have sort of a let island distance equal 10 cell. Alright, I'm going to need a new, is it a, is it a terrain, or is it Island. This is going to be shallow water. I'm sorry, where is that? Equals zero. One. Two. It's three. Most of the time, it's going to be and shall we make our other mappings? So I need shallow water and I need island. Shallow water, island. Open up our bitmap. Shallow water is just going to be a space, so that's 20. 0x20. And an island, though, is going to look like a... Um, don't know. Do I have to draw one? See this guy. Or give me a, give me a something that will work for now. Hey, this one's this one's more or less a little lump. So it's going to be one e. Island is going to be one e. The foreground is. Green. The background is red, bright blue. And all right, I'm still generating my world somewhere. Where am I doing it? Here in Game State. It's actually way down here. Okay, so generate islands, and we are going to start with. Um, We're just going to start with randomly uh, just putting them in random places. So, no, we're gonna we're gonna fill it up until we can't fill it up no more. Okay, now how to do this is is the is the next little bit because I want to generate as many islands as I can on the map until there are no more places so okay what I'm gonna do <laughs> but do, will I need something mutable I think I think I may or it's like it's the only thing I can think of at the moment uh, they won't it won't be mutable forever this this little thing will so, we're going to say, uh, let um, island locations, well, okay. let island locations equal cell location, well, list.empty. Cell location dot empty. All right, so now we have cell location list empty list. No, we don't. We don't. We can. I don't know. 
going to have, we're going to take our map locations, let valid locations, equal map locations, set of seek. So I've got a set of valid locations. And that may have to be mutable. That might. So now is there a way for me to hmm. forget it, we're just gonna find a way. <laughs> Just do it the brute force way, and then we'll do it the right way. All right. So the valid locations are, are our map locations. How many are there? Yeah, this is a very wasteful way to generate this, but... So I have my valid locations. I have valid locations that count. Count. So what I don't want to be doing, well, I don't care. Let's generate um, we're actually going to, okay, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to copy the map location. We're going to go with that mutable. Valid locations are that. Um, and while valid locations Locations is a sequence. Seek dot is empty. Not do. Can I? as of seek. Okay, let's it's gonna be a ray is empty, right? Do Do I have the ability to remove them? Okay. I'm going to pick one. Let index equal valid locations dot oh, it's going to be random next valid locations dot count right at count the length who knows what is it? What do we count? A lot of these. Fitter length. Okay. So, index will be an array. Will be a. D location. Let valid location equal valid, valid locations. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. What is it? Uh, weird. I don't do arrays. I don't do arrays in F sharp. So sue me. Cause I try to do things with lists and sequences. So I don't. So I don't do this junk. Okay, so I know that's how you declare the thing. Now how do I? Well, that's okay. So it's really just the dot and something. So this is all the elements from blah blah to blah blah. That could be. Hmm. 
That gives me an idea, but I've already kind of committed to this. So, the Lila location is that. Um, sadly, so island locations, set that to island location, and island locations. So, oh, now it's nice and angry. Index is that. I'm going to take Is there a so valid locations array is there a remove? No. Um, is there a filter? New collection to me. Only the elements of the collection which given predicate returns true. Yeah, you know what? I can I can do this. I can do it with actually a sequence. No, I still need the still need the random access. So I'm going to still have an array. So, I have to change valid locations. Buttons. Should have tucked into it valid locations array dot filter. Fun. Cell location. At the moment we'll leave it as true. Oh, it wants, wants the map. So, all right. So now I got my valid locations are updating. So I filter it. The cell location gets always true, and then. But here has unit. So what if I have what if I just return map at the end? Everything's cool. All right. So we'll just leave that there for now because this the, the angriness just doesn't help me. So at the location, so island location. Good. So I grabbed the island location. I did that, and now I need to say the. What's my distance? Island distance is ten. So, <sighs> the let delta x equals cell location dot column minus island location dot column let delta y equal I don't do do ourselves a little distance formula. Do I have a Where's my island distance? Where is it? Or is it down here? Ah, this needs a refactor too. Island distance is ten cells. So Go with our condition should be greater than island distance. Where's the capital I? Island distance times island distance. All right, so we can multiply island distance times island distance. Delta x times delta x plus delta y times delta times delta y. So my 
valid locations will get reduced. So while I still have valid locations, it will pick one and then add that location to there and reduce my number of valid locations. And then the end island locations will be a list full of um, a list of cell locations for which we want to uh, put the islands. So the map, that's actually its island location. It's list.fold, right? List.fold. Fun map. Location map right cool all right um then I should just be able to say map set object right set object at the location some no, not. It's set to terrain. Location. And what do I want? Where do I want it? It's got to be uh, map terrain dot island. I now take my list of islands and I'm going to fold them and it's going to return me the map. So now it should generate me my islands. Do you build? I hope you build. All right, you built, get built. So now we got islands. Can't do anything with them. And also the thing that I really want to do is uh, make sure that those places that are right next to the island are shallow. Yeah, that's kind of island-like, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a lonely little palm tree. Okay, so I generate the islands. Those are my valid locations. I then also want to set the set the set the areas around it. Because what I want to do is I want to have. Uh, one square near the island of shallow water, and then like is a square past that be a be shallow water, so that there's so there's a there's a hint a little further away, or it could be even could be an even farther thing, like two. I think one square of shallow water, and then like two squares of. Uh, Ah, of water that is uh, of just the water not deep water and then everything else is deep water and I think I might like that to happen but alright how are we gonna do that so really I'm just gonna this is gonna be a place island So there's my location. I'm gonna have a let place island location map equals map. I want this isolated. And my location. 
location is a cell location. Think. I think what I want to do here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna let's make life easy easy. So like uh, let island template equal. Uh, it's gonna be a. It's gonna start with a list, and we're gonna go with a. Let's, let's, well, let's, what can we draw it out on? Well, you can do it right here. Okay, so, two, three. So we'll do right here in the middle one. So I want water, water, shallow, island, shallow water, shallow water, water. So I want water. Water, S S S W W S S S W. This is exactly. Yep. Okay. All right. So my template is gonna have so this. This is my zero. So minus one, minus two, minus three. So minus three, and then minus three is up here. And the map terrain dot shallow water. Not shallow water. Yeah, just water. Okay. So three, two, one, zero, one, two, three. I want that there. And same thing happens for minus, same thing happens for three. For minus two, we'll do this. Minus two. Put a separation in between each line, shall we? So then, C minus one. Minus one. Starting here, it's going to be shallow. Shallow, shallow. This is actually zero. This one is island. That is defined. Still not as defined as land. Okay. And then actually I can take This is cheap and sleazy. Do you hate it? Three, two, one. It's a bunch of fixed data, is what it is. Okay, three, two, one, zero. This one's three. So just delete them. Because it doesn't really matter to me what order they're in. Up, oh, let's put the space back. Okay, so that captures that. Could I put them in order? Do I care? Uh, do I care for them to be anything other than what they are? They're int int map terrain, and I think I do. 
want it to at least let's it in the sequence. I can leave it in whatever the list. All right, I will list dot map it dot map fun x y terrain. into column equals row equals comma t row equals x times one cell row equals y times one cell terrain and actually we can go ahead and uh, map of list. And this gives me a map cell location to map terrain. So that's cool. Alright, so now when I place my island, I have a location and I have a, an island template and I can go island template map dot I want to fold I start with a map and then I have a low uh, I have a delta that's a delta and I have terrain gotta put a fun gotta put the fun there's no fun there's no function without fun and see now here's the thing it map Map get try pick. So what is try pick? Oh, that's that's not what I want at all. Um, if map dot contains key. Let's find the map. Let's say let map location equal column column equals location dot column plus delta dot column um, row equals location dot row plus delta dot row. So there's our map location. If map contains key map location, then else map. Uh, map set terrain. Um, map location. Right. And what are you angry about? So the island template, this is a this gets arguments. Oh wait, this is actually oh, and then Suddenly worked. Placing the island. Are you actually gonna work? You gonna work? You might work. Are you building? If this builds and this works, we're gonna call it a day. Oh, look at you! Okay. A little ugly. <laughs> it's actually very ugly. What happened here? Yeah. Oh no, that's right. That's so that one's and, uh, okay. But the thing is, is I could make a larger template. 
and I could make one that uh... okay how about we do that that one's fine but what do you say we go into paint.net we make one that is five by five we zoom in as far as we can so here's five is that right no because one more okay Image canvas size seven by seven because that's what we did. All right, I'm gonna make a circle. That is that is just ugly. We're gonna fill it the brush with it's one. Now we can turn off anti aliasing. We want it as there. So let's take the corners. Let's take the corners off of of that. Let's take those three. All right. Let's make it. Let's make it suck a little bit less. So that's gonna be deep water. So the first two, and the last two. The first one and the last one, and not at minus one. So that first two, last two, first one, last one. Those are, are hyper realistic. Okay, it's it's a little that's a little bit better. Oh, no. <laughs> Should have realized I must have been at the top because the islands suddenly stopped. The same thing there. All right, here I go. I am sailing. Well, let's seem a little close together. Let's, uh, but fortunately, I can set an island distance of 20 now. And that'll keep going until it generates all of them. There we go. That's a little better. So now, I got nice big tracks of ocean. Okay, we're wandering around an ocean. Now the ocean has islands. Not that it really matters much. We can still fall off the edge of the world. Watch out, Darby monsters. That's cool. Next, I think. Um, up, hey, it's last pass. Deciding to do something. Thanks, last pass. Now what? Oh, change the icon too. Oh, hi, we're LastPass. We changed the icon. Thanks, LastPass. Um, here we are here, and we got islands. We got, but we don't, we don't really have anything to do in the islands. Kid Ocean. In the boat. We're cool. Fishing. I don't know. We'll come up with something to do. Searching for a home. Obviously, on those islands, we need storms and sea monsters and pirates and merfolk. We need merfolk and explores. Exploration is kind of what we're doing next this one's kind of a we'll go with a we'll go with a mostly i mostly know what i'm doing here in the boat i'm really not really sure how it all factors in i'm not sure on how the islands go um fishing don't know these other things i'm, I'm too uncertain uh, the merfolk, I don't even know if I want them. Pirates, I don't know if I want them either. Let's get, let's get this stuff in order. So sea monsters, nope, nope, just me. I may not want to do this. I, I know I definitely want to do storm, so I'm not sure how I want to implement them exactly. Searching for home. Um, this one, this one is the one where I do actually have a really good idea of how I want to do this. And it's similar to my to to what I'm what I've got going on with my template. Uh, I want to start you out um, somewhere on the map, and you're going to only see. Well, it's actually let's actually look at the thing. You're only going to see about 
this far, and so you're going to have to explore and find new islands. And there's, I want some, there to be something to do on the island and some reason to explore other islands, but then also some level of risk as you're going from island to island. And it's very freeform and not, I don't want to solidify yet. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, um, this is, this is improv. This isn't a, oh, I know exactly what my requirements are and I know exactly what I want to do. This is, this is expression as far as a game rather than, um, I'm not even looking to, to I'm going to ship it, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not monetizing. So I'm doing it for fun. And speaking of fun, uh, thanks so much for coming along on this journey with me and keep the joy of functional game dev in your heart. And I'll see you next time.